Hello, I'm back from my holiday, happy Easter, and today I just wanted to come to you with a quick iTunes tip. If you've ever moved computers before or reformatted your computer and wanted to take your iTunes library with you, it can be a little difficult, but there's a really, really easy way of doing it. Um, you basically just copy and paste a folder, but you need somewhere to back it up, like a, pe uh, a flash drive or, or even an iPod if you've got a small um, music library. Um, but I'm just going to open up uh, iTunes here and show you what you need to do over there. Now, let me... Let me first say that this is going to apply to all your iTunes stuff, not just um, exclusively your music. What we're going to want to do first is go up to iTunes. We're going to want to access the preferences, and this will also work if you're on Mac or PC. I'm going to hit I believe it's the advanced tab. Yeah. Um and then we're gonna wanna hit the uh keep iTunes music folder organized. That'll uh that'll make sure it's all in one folder that you can copy and back up and re paste in again. So check the keep iTunes music folder organized if you don't have already press ok and then you're done for the iTunes part but I, I've already done that and then all we really have to do is then go to our iTunes um, music folder as you can see I, I've got a lot of files here because I, I've got hidden files it's enabled on my system here, but what we're going to want to do is just go into our, the place where we have our iTunes music, which in my case is actually in my time capsule. And um, in the iTunes folder, and there's my downloads of my podcasts. I basically only got podcasts in iTunes but um, if all the ones I've got are there um, so all you basically do is copy and paste that folder but if you if you do that it, it will not uh, retain your album art or anything else so you copy that but then you also need to copy the default iTunes folder which contains all the meta information what am I doing here um, so if we go into the iTunes folder we see we've got iTunes library and we've got the album art and stuff so it's important to get that directory and we've got the iTunes library dot XML which tells it where everything is. So just the end of that tip. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys with more videos. Thanks for watching.